I have everything I need. Everything I ever needed, I have. Now, where is this place? Where am I heading? Have I reached the... Sure. I will now save my game. I think I have reached my destination. Nope, not yet. Yes, I have. Fantastic. I have a tomb which is in the middle of nowhere and so far away from the cultural birth of the tomb itself. Why not build this near Dalmasca? Something I don't understand. Or proper or better yet underground in a cave below Ravanastra. Oh, what's the hell? I'm not even sure what you are. Garuda, the boss. Am I hitting him? Goddamn flying enemies. One of his strikes makes puts me to sleep. Are you kidding me? This guy is annoying me, so let's use something. God damn it. What the hell with the stupid free attack? These guys are useless. At this point, this guy, these guys are useless. Right, time to ch do some adjustions. Adjust some stuff. Right, I'm going to create a backup gambit in the middle of the boss fight. Should do it. And I will be the healing machine.
God damn it, this guy is strong. Now you're running away, why? Damn it, this does not work indeed. Indeed, this physical attacks don't work on this guy. Finally! I hate flying mobs. I hate them. There. At least hit me with a fanfare now. Look at all the four posers of justice. Snapshot in three, two, one. The four posers of justice. There you go. My reward and an ancient device steers. The steering of an ancient device. All right. Long ago, the gods granted their favor to King Wraithwall, who would oversee the subjugation of a vast territory spanning from Mordalia to Valendia. Here, he forged the Galtean Alliance. Though he is called the Dynast King, upon establishing the alliance, he demonstrated compassion for his people and disdain for needless war. A philosophy passed on to his successors, one that would bring peace and prosperity for hundreds of years to follow. It was during this time of peace that the city-states of Arcadia and Rosaria, each members of Wraithwall's alliance, took root and flourished. Wraithwall left three relics signifying descent from the Dynast King. Of these, the Midlight Shard was given to what would become House Nebradia, and the Dusk Shard to my ancestors, the founders of Dalmasca. The last of these relics was the Dawn Shard. It remained hidden here, known only to those of royal blood. As though the Dynast King foresaw the very plight before us now. None save descendants of the King are suffered within. If we attempt to enter without proof of such lineage... There's no guarantee we'll make it out alive. Vicious beasts, fiendish traps, something like that? Precisely. Mm-hmm. But you must consider the prize. The Dawn Shard lies within, and Wraithwall's treasure. And there was I, thinking this was going to be hard. Oh, great. I can... Hey. Oh, all of the sun you have more stuff.
There, for now I'm good. Balance. Selling all of this. Thank you for your negotiation and business. I am heading off. No, gambits. I'm. Um, no, not gambits. Yeah, actually, yes, gambits. Need to change some stuff. No, idiot, idiot, idiot. There you go. Licenses. That's what I wanted to do. Useful. Very useful. Save, destroy that boss. And I deserve to save my progress there, like that. Now, I'm going to take a brief pause. I have been playing for a while now. And on that note, thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Scarf says, I'll, I'll see you soon for more Final Fantasy 12 gameplay content. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers!